Hi, my name is Jeppe, this is my daughter Sally. We have a small family company in Sweden where we train dogs and dog owners. I have trained dogs and dog owners for over 35 years. We will now show you a short clip for you to get some inspiration for your own training. And since not all our students speak Swedish, we have chosen to do this in English. Good luck with your own training. Hi everyone. Uh, now the pups is about uh, one year old, uh, close to, and uh, it has been a lot of struggle to get people gathering together. Also training wise, uh, some of the dogs have been a little bit ill, one is ill in the mouth and one have a ear problem. And many people have been in holiday and all that. So I'm a little bit sorry that we don't could have a more uh, same group the whole time. But some of the dogs has been on the most of the clips. And today I would like to show you how the steadiness have came up about the uh, hole in the dummy and also a little bit of the water. If you remember the water for um, nearly a year ago, there was very unsteady in the water. You could see today has been a more progress, not super, but the progress. So we'll have a look at that today. I hope you will enjoy what you will see in the coming clip. You can here see the, the dogs are much easier to respect and take the dummy. And you can also see when they're moving, the doggy stay put and keep the dummy in the mouth. And that's very positive. And when they came back, they are steady and they could touch the dog and touch the dummy before they're taking out the dummy. So uh, this, this training has been quite good. They are quite stable on this and that's very positive. Uh, after this training where the dog stay put and the trainer could go forward and backward, you should go with the dog and have the dog to heal with the dummy in the mouth. So if you have a look at the next clip, you will see that uh, all the dogs, quite okay, could follow the owners with control and have the dummy in the mouth and don't spit them out. We have a look. You can hear say they have uh, easy to handle the dogs with the dummy in the mouth. And even when they, they move, the dogs follow them and go with the, and go with the dummy. And positive, they could follow the whole time. And, and go around. And then stop. Okay? Good, good. We will see here the, the full retrieve. Just a very short one, just to show that the dog is in hand, goes out, pick up, and coming back. And now he follow a little bit on the owner. If the owner moves, as you do now, you get more action in the dog. If you stand still, it's more easy the dog is slowing down. You will see this training one more time, because you can see that the owner is not waiting for the dog. As soon as the dog can go out to pick the dummy up, he moves slightly away from the dog, turning the side to the dog and wait him into the side and then steady take the dummy. That makes a better delivery instead to front them and move over them and try to take the dummy. I will show you one more time. So have a look at this one more time so you can see the difference how he moves. He's sending the dog out when the dog is on the way in. He's circling 45 degrees, take a step from them, a couple of steps, and the dog goes into his side. And that's a very good delivery to start with. Of course, in the finished work, you should stay in front and take them, for sure. But this is the way to have a nice delivery in future. Have a look again. Uh, you can see this dog is not ready for this kind of work. You can see as soon as he's leaving the, the owner, you can see the interest for everything else take over and the discipline is too low. So he needs to step back, go further down to the basic training and try to get him more control and still happy for the dummy, but have the control before he continue this training. Uh, the good way with our training is that you have a possibility to, as I tell you, step back. Take it easy, go back, basic training, sit him down, let him have the dummy in the mouth, call him in with the dummy in the mouth and all that before you start to the new training as we saw 
just before. But if you continue with this training in this level and the dog has the same movement as he had in the film, he will be lost. So he needs to go down for the discipline. Happy out and takes in. Uh, this level is uh, just between the two others you have seen today. You can see this one is a little bit uh, unsure. You can see the tail is a little bit low, but when he gets to command fetch, he'll be quite happy and go out. The problem here is that the owner moves a little bit too fast and let the dog go too far away from the owner. And then she faced the dog at once and she had the straight delivery straight into her. If you remember the first one you saw, he, he walked 45 degrees and get it in here and took the dummy in this level. In, in, instead to take him, uh, just uh, face him at once. So the thing is to try to get the dog closer to the owner. So we'll have a look one more time and you can see that the dog goes too far out instead to be closer to the owner because the owner don't catch the dog's intention when it comes in. We have a look one more time. After the training, when you have the dog to run up and take the dummy and all that, uh, you have a more unstable dog, so now the thing you need to train the passive way, as we have done before. I've seen it before, but now we want to try to put the dummy out in front of the dogs, and we will try to have the owner to go past the dog, and I would like to have all the dogs looking after the owner instead to be focused at the dummies, because the dummies is just disturbing, but the owners are the, the people in charge. So after the dummy is, understand me, dead, lying still, the dog should take more notice of the owner. And you can see when the dog, uh, the, the owner passing the dog, you can see the dog is following him with the head, and that's right. We have a look. We will have a look a little bit over the service training. You have seen it before, but you will see they are more focused now, and they will, they will react, react on the dummies but they should not go into them, they should just look at them. And soon you will see that the owner will go over the dummies and the dogs shall follow the owner with their with the interest, the mentality. Have a look here now. Now when it comes, they shall turn around their heads, as we're doing now, and say, okay, my owner is behind me, instead to look at the dummy. Very good. I did the thing to show them that leave the dummy and I can see they go forward again yeah. and it is very important that they don't be stressed and running after everything they could see they're very calm and take it easy that's very good uh, we will now show you how they work in the water even there is a quite big difference between the dogs but you could see it's much better than it was for <laughs> nearly a year ago when they don't like to go into the water at all now they could uh, some of them go quite in and some of them go a little bit slow but they could manage to go in. The thing you should look at very, very important here is how you meet the dog in the water line to get the right delivery without the shaking. If the dog is shaking before delivery, there is two choices for the dog to do. One is to take the, 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 the dummy or the, the, the animal or the wild too hard and squeeze it. That's not good at all. And the other way is to put them down on the ground, shake them and take them up and gone. That's also wrong. So the thing is to have the dog to realize, don't shake, come in, leave a dummy, and then shake on command. We'll have a look at that. Uh, if you remember last year when it was very small, we tested the water. Now you can see the difference because they are much more keen to go into the water now. You will soon see here. Uh, go into the water. And the thing is now here now to meet the dog at the water line because we don't like to shake it, because if the dog is shaking, they will squeeze the, the game or lose it. Yeah. 
Okay, Remember so last year you were testing this yeah. and now we will see it again when they are nearly one year. You can see the difference here. Steady before it goes in and you will see when it comes up. The difficult thing is to beat the dog up and don't have them to shake because if they're shaking they will leave the dummy on the ground or squeeze it. So the thing is to have them to don't shake before you tell them it's okay. Uh, you can see the difference. Now the owner is more inviting the dog up to land and the dog goes freely up to the land and be happy to come with him. And he sits down and he takes the dummy and he takes a half step back and let the dog shake off the water. That is the delivery I look for. This, this dog has to be working further and further away from the water line. I mean, a couple of days I would say if you do it right, you could stand 10 meters from the line and call the dog up without to shake if you do it right. That's the way to do it. Very good work. Now we should have a look at the next one here. She is quite interested, but it looks up on the owner. That's good. And now the command comes and the dogs go into the water, not too happy. As soon as it goes into the water, it's okay, but you don't like to swim at once. It will come. But it takes a little bit of time for them before they make a mind up. Now it will come. So you can see now, yes. So if you do that many times, it will be better and better. It will go out at once. But uh, it's much better than last time, if you remember it. They don't like to go into the water at all. And I could say they are not, not too keen. This litter is not too keen for the water. But it, it's uh, absolutely workable to get them into the water. And the thing is to be happy now. And because you could see it start to shake, and the thing is to meet them at the water line, but to get them up at the last end and haul it. This is a very good display that I tried to explain just before on the other dog. This owner is bowing over, and you can see he actually stopping the dog in the water. You can see the dog take a half step back and say, No, no, I don't go into you. And that makes the problem. Instead, to be inviting the dog up, control but happiness, so the dog follow him up. So you need to train on that. I will give you one more short clip on the last piece so you could see the difference, but he bowing over and actually stop the dog before it comes up. We shall here see the next one. Or will um, that's a short one just to see if it goes into the water you can see it's very interested of the water and now it goes in you can see it and now they think it to meet her in the in the water line because the thing is to have them steady when it comes up uh, this delivery is similar as the last one you can see the lady is bowing over the dog and put her hand out and take the dummy from the dog and even pat her after. So she actually gives the praise when the dog has leaving the dummy instead to try to have the body more backwards, invite the dog up as I told you before and don't try to take it and then take it and never ever say good girl or pat the dog after her delivery. The, 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 the positive way should be when the dog has the, mouth, the, the dummy in the mouth, not after. Remember that. She should have more, one more chance and you will see it will be better in the next more clip. Have a look. Uh, the delivery is the same, but she don't give a, a, a pat of the dog uh, after she has delivery. And that's a positive way, but they need to work much more to get them up on the land. We have decided to stop the filming after this. And uh, actually, we have expected to have more intensive filming between the different kind of clips. But it has been difficult to get people together. 
Some people are very busy and some people have, have not the time actually because the families and all that. Some are on holiday, we have the winter in the middle of the time and also the training. Uh, the guy you see today who have the first retrieve have come in the, the longest way on the training. He has also taken a part of all three steps we have in our training classes. The other people living on longer distance and none of them have not have any training and some of them have just one of the classes. So it's difficult to, to, to measure them. But I also think it's quite common if you buy a puppy from a litter and you go together and see the different levels, you will see something similar of this because you can't make a copy that every dog is the same. It depends on the dog, it depends on the owner and how much time you put in. I'm absolutely sure that all the dogs will be nice working dogs in the field and we wish them all luck for future and hope you have, have got any ideas of how we're training and good luck for your own dogs. See you in, in another movie. Bye bye.